Deputy Prime Minister Chairman of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today at his office at Al Qadibiyya Palace Prince Pavlos Constantine of Greece. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah welcomed the prince and wished him a nice stay in the kingdom. And the two sides discussed promising opportunities for projects that can be implemented by the partnership with the private sector in non oil fields, especially in communication, health, infrastructure, and industry. Deputy Prime Minister also said that Montalakat and its subsidiaries and associates play an important role and contribute directly in diversifying economy by establishing viable companies and create profitable opportunities and appropriate financial returns, as well as helping companies and projects benefit from Bahrain's location that is a leading regional commercial hub and desirable tourist destination, all according to corporate governance principles and transparency supported by a solid legislative environment that protects climate rights. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that national economy has competitive advantages that boost Bahrain's investment status and make it the focus of capitals. Prince Pavlos expressed his thanks to Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah and for the warm welcome he has received in Bahrain. On the occasion of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall's visit to the Kingdom, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended a reception ceremony held by the Embassy of the United Kingdom in Bahrain in celebration of over 200 years of establishing diplomatic relations between the two countries. Present was the British Ambassador to Bahrain, Simon Martin, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, expressed Bahrain's pride in the visit of their Royal Highnesses, which reflects the development of bilateral relations after more than 200 years since it was first established, and it has benefited both peoples and is constantly developing in all areas. He praised the United Kingdom's support to the Kingdom and its keenness to further develop cooperation in various fields. The ceremony included an exhibition of local organisations and clubs of foreign communities. The guests met with ministers, members of the representatives and Shura councils, English businessmen, current and previous Bahraini ambassadors to the United Kingdom, diplomatic delegations, heads of the Commonwealth, military officers from Bahrain, the UK and the United States and a number of members of some of the elite Bahraini families.
On the occasion of Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales visit to the Post Office Museum, it comes as part of the multi-country visit across the region to promote United Kingdom's relations. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication has praised Bahrain's long-standing and historic ties with the United Kingdom. The Minister emphasised the strong, wide-ranging and mutually beneficial bilateral relations that include economic, cultural, political and defence-related areas. The Minister provided the Royal Highnesses with an overview of the museum which documents key historical moments of Bahrain's postage heritage since its establishment in 1884. He highlighted that it was established to preserve and display all postal stamps issued by the Kingdom as well as showcase postage stamps from more than 150 Universal Postal Union member states and postal machinery and equipment. The Royal Highnesses were also shown several historic postage stamps that serve as a testament to the strong relationship between the Kingdom and the United Kingdom as Bahrain gained training and expertise in managing postal affairs from the Royal Mail. Postage stamps marking the 200th anniversary of the relations between Bahrain and the UK were unveiled by His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and a commemorative gift was presented by the Minister to him in honour of the visit. Sheikh Ahesa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, wife of the personal representative of His his Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa were also present. Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall visited St Christopher's School today. During the visit, Her Royal Highness the Duchess was accompanied by wife of the personal representative of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Ahesa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the Education Minister Dr Majid bin Ali Al Nuemi. During the visit, His Royal Highness the Duchess attended a reception that featured foods prepared by the school's pupils and saw a Tudor dress parade. Her Royal Highness the Duchess also listened to a recitation of Arabic poetry by young non-native Arabic speakers. St Christopher's was founded in 1961 and is an internationally renowned non-profit making school with over 2,300 pupils from 70 countries.
Control Highness the Prince of Wales, Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Humaydin, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and President of Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquity, Sheikh Hamed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended today a roundtable discussion at Bin Matar House in Muharraq on the topic of empowering communities for positive change. The roundtable discussion included a diverse group of Bahrain society in an effort to explore ways to gain a greater role in advancing development. Discussions covered a wide range of issues including entrepreneurship, education, civic engagement and active citizenship. The event was organised by the British Council in collaboration with the global shapers community Manama Hub, part of a network of city-based hubs established and led by young leaders who desire to reach their full leadership potential through helping and serving their societies. The event also included a series of presentations by the Prince's Trust International, which is the global extension of the Prince's Trust. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales today visited the Issa Cultural Centre during which he viewed creative work by Bahraini graduates from the Prince's School for Traditional Arts, the PSTA, as well as historic documents which mark the long-standing cultural relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales was received by Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Executive Director of Issa Cultural Centre, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa was also in attendance. During the visit, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales also attended a workshop alongside a group of students from the University of Bahrain who were learning about the language of traditional Islamic art through the study of geometry. The workshop, one of the many held by the PSTA, demonstrates the positive role the organisation plays in preserving traditional art forms through education and training programmes for Bahrain's youth. Following the workshop, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales met the first Bahraini graduate from the Prince's School for Traditional Arts, the PSTA, Sarah Al Zayani, where she showed His Royal Highness a diverse range of her architectural and design exhibits and highlighted that these works were a result of the knowledge and skills she developed at PSTA.